Hello there, my name is Kisiwa and you're welcome to this channel. So in today's video, we are going to look at two universities in Canada that waive the IELTS or the English standardized test. And they also provide some sort of guaranteed funding for international students at the bachelor's, master's, and then the PhD level. Now, Canada is one of the countries that offers world-class education to international students. And it is one of the countries that international students sought after the most it is because of the benefit um you get when you get to school in canada okay so in today's video we are going to look at the general admission requirement um we're also going to look at um, how standardized tests or the ielts can be waived and we're also going to look at some of the guaranteed funding which um, international students can apply for at the master's, bachelor's, and then the PhD level. So if you are interested, let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first university we're looking at is the University of Saskatchewan. And it is known to be one of the most beautiful universities in Canada, okay? So this is the school's website and they are the game changers. So this is a beautiful website of the University of Saskatchewan. Now let's look at some of the undergrad programs that this university offers now. Um, they have bachelor's, diploma, certificate, and then non-direct entry programs. And some of the programs that they offer are Aboriginal Business Administration, Agribusiness, Animal bioscience, biology, chemistry, civil engineering, drama, <laughs> education, English, through to theater, okay? So these are the programs that they offer. So you explore and then you select the program of interest to you. So next we're going to look at the English language proficiency. So now here, we're going to look at um, the pathway for you to be admitted if you don't meet the English language proficiency or how you can avoid writing standardized tests for you to get admission into this university. So one pathway you can use to get admission is the joint admission. So if you don't meet the requirement um, below, which we'll talk about later, you can apply for joint admission to the English for Academic Purposes program at the University of Saskatchewan Language Centre and undergraduate program in any of the six direct entry colleges and the colleges are agriculture and bioresources arts and science engineering education edwards school of business or kinesiology okay so that is one of the pathway you can use to get admission into this university if you don't meet the english language proficiency um, requirement um, if you've been asked to provide um, proof of English proficiency, you will need to show that you meet one of the following standards. Either you completed high school or secondary school studies in English, either you completed post-secondary studies in English, or um, completed any of the standardized tests, or completion of an approved English language proficiency program, either in the University of Saskatchewan or in the University of Regina. And lastly, if you completed one of the following qualifications, so these are the qualifications here. Now let's look at the scholarships and the bursaries for the undergraduate um, student who is entering into this university, okay? So they have quite a number of scholarships available to international students at the bachelor's level, okay? And the first is the Guarantee Entrance Scholarship. Now, um, you will automatically be considered for a Guaranteed Entrance Scholarship when you apply for admission. So this scholarship recognizes your academic achievement and are awarded based on your admission average. So based on your admission average, you get to win any of these Canadian dollars uh, scholarship values here. So it gives details as to their eligibility and how you're going to receive the money and all that. Um, the next scholarship you're looking at is the Best and Brightest Entrance Scholarship. But unfortunately, um, this scholarship um, is over 
and so I cannot talk about it. But if you're considering this university in the next academic year, then you can also look at this. So you have to complete your admission, your application for admission by December 1st. And then you fill out and submit your online application for the best and brightest scholarship by December 15th through this website. So since it's past December 15th, we are not going to talk about this particular scholarship. We will look at it in future. Okay, so the next scholarship is the Competitive Entrance Award. Uh, with this scholarship, you are to complete your application for admission by 15th of February um 2023 and then you fill out and submit online application for competitive entrance awards by march 1st okay also all the details and the steps you need in applying to this universe to this scholarship is provided here the next is the international student award and they have quite a number of international students award now the previous awards i mentioned is for both the domestic students and then international students but the international students um, award is specifically for international students okay so they have um the university of saskatchewan international excellence award and the value is ten thousand canadian dollars so international students will be considered automatically for these awards which are based on academic achievement upon admission so you need not to apply for the scholarship. Once you apply for admission, you are considered for this scholarship, okay? And then the second is the International Baccalaureate Excellence Awards and the value is 20,000 Canadian dollars. So international students completing the IB diploma program will be considered automatically upon admission. Also, there is um, the Saskatchewan Region Scholarship award and the value is 1500 now this is for students applying for the joint admission which which we have already talked about so if you use this pathway then you can also be considered automatically for the scholarship if you meet the requirement next is the canadian curriculum schools award and the value of the scholarship or award is fifteen thousand canadian dollars for international students graduating from international Canadian curriculum schools. Now, students who wish to be considered for this award must complete um, the Canadian curriculum school award application through this website. Also, Council for International Schools Award um, is available for international students and the value is 15,000 Canadian dollars. For international students entering undergraduate degree program at the University of Saskatchewan, who graduated from a CIS member school. So students who um, wish to be considered for this award must complete a Council of International School Awards application in this website. And the last is the Maple Leaf International School Awards, which is valued at 15,000 Canadian dollars. So candidates for the Maple Leaf International School Awards must graduate from a Maple Leaf educational system international curriculum school and also students who wish to be considered for this award must complete the maple leaf international school award application in this website okay so um all those completing awards through this through the website should complete their application for admission by the 15th of february 2023 and then fill out and submit the online application in the website by 1st of March. There is also um, award for transfer students and these are the values 2,000 Canadian dollars, 1,500 Canadian dollars and 1,000 Canadian dollars depending on your average. This university is by far the university with the most um, scholarship and awards for international students at the bachelor's level I have come across okay I mean, if you're a continuing student at a graduate or undergrad level there are also um, bursaries available for you and there are departmental awards and scholarship as well for you so what you do is you enter your department here or you enter your program and then the college 
and then it's going to pop up all the awards available in your department for you to apply to okay so that is all about that for the graduate level now so now let's move on to the graduate level okay so um we are going to look, we are going to look at some of the programs offered by the University of Saskatchewan at the graduate level being it masters and then PhD okay so they offer accounting anthropology archaeology biostatistics business administration through to writing okay okay so we are going to so we're also going to look at the scholarship and awards um, offered by the university at the graduate level to international students okay and the major university scholarship is the dean scholarship and the value of this is 18,000 canadian dollars per year for two years now department and supervisors is required to fund the second year at the same level of support okay and for doctoral it is 22,000 canadian dollars per year so you get to know more about this scholarship and their deadlines through here so they've stated the eligibility um requirement for the dean's scholarship award if you are interested also they have graduate awards and and one of the graduate award is the university of saskatchewan graduate scholarship now this scholarship is open to students in selected departments only so it is not all departments that um this in this particular scholarship goes for so if your department is selected then at the master's level you will be receiving sixteen thousand canadian dollars per year for up to two years and at the master's level you're going to receive twenty thousand canadian dollars per year for up to three years so you get to know more about this particular university through this site or this link here they have the university of saskatchewan graduate teaching fellowships so um this is available in most departments and students must be full-time fully qualified graduates who meet the academic requirements okay and the value for this um, scholarship is sixteen thousand canadian dollars over 12 months less mandatory employment deduction so this um scholarship is more or less like an employment the school is given to you they also offer graduate teaching assistantship positions and if you want to know more about this you also go to the links down here and next is the graduate research assistantship um, positions which is also available if you want to know more about it they have the links down here then they also have the departmental scholarship and just like the undergrad departmental scholarship so is this also they have country specific um funding to partnership agreement with some countries so these are the countries brazil child china colombia mexico um panama paraguay peru uruguay and then egypt okay so these are the um, country specific funding to partnership agreements with these countries and they also have bursaries for international students so the next university we're looking at is the university of alberta and they have a very simple website here so we're going to look at the undergraduate programs they offer but for the purpose of time i'm not going to go through all of it so you can explore it and you research more about the programs okay so these are the programs they offer chemical engineering quite they have detailed information about all the programs they offer now we're going to look at the english language um proficiency exemptions okay so um but this particular university they have two ways of exempting either through country or through universities so they have countries that um, satisfy the english language proficiency and so if you're from any of these countries then you need not to write and some of these countries at the bachelor's level is australia anguilla bahamas barbados 
Belize, Dominica, Gambia, Wales, Zambia, Zimbabwe, okay? It's more than that, so you scroll through and then you identify your country. However, if you don't find your country in this list of countries, then you scroll down and then you look at the universities that satisfy the English language proficiency. And we have countries like Bangladesh. There are some universities in Bangladesh that meet the English language proficiency for the undergrad level. And so if you're from Bangladesh, you go through the universities and then if your university is part of the listed, then you need not to write any tests. Also, Bulgaria, same. Cameroon, there are universities there. Egypt, there are also universities there. Um, Ethiopia, there are universities. Germany, there are universities. India, there are a lot of universities. That means uh, University of Alberta's English standardized test. Also in Kuwait, Lebanon, Lesotho, Pakistan, Philippines. Turkey. Okay, so we are going to look at the general international undergraduate scholarships. The first one is the admission based scholarship, and there is no application required. Okay, so once you submit your application for admission, you are also being considered for this scholarship. Um, if you're eligible for the admission based scholarship, you will be contacted directly through an email and then be informed that you have received the scholarship. So then we have the application-based scholarship, which you have to apply early. You have to apply to this scholarship before or by 11th of January 2023. And they've given us some tips as to how you can apply to this scholarship. Now this scholarship, um, after you have applied for your admission, you, then you apply to this particular scholarship, which is the application-based scholarship, okay? It's also the President International Dis Distinction Scholarship. So students with superior admission average and demonstrated um, leadership qualities entering their first year of undergraduate degree on a student visa permit could receive up to 120,000 Canadian dollars payable over four years, okay? And then there is also International Leader Scholarship. Um, well-rounded leaders with superior ac academics may receive up to 10,000 Canadian dollars. And there is also the Mekon Undergraduate Scholarship where um, students with superior admission average and self-declared financial need entering their first year of an undergraduate degree on a student visa permit who are Chinese or Hong Kong citizens could receive up to 100,000 Canadian dollars. Um, payable over four years. There is also the scholarship for IB Diploma International Students. There is also a scholarship for transfer students with this particular university and you get to know more through this um, link here as well. Now I'm trying not to make this video lengthy and that is the reason why I haven't opened to most of the scholarship um, processes. Okay, so you can do me a favor by going through the scholarship which um, you prefer and then you read more about it if you have any question whatsoever you can contact the admission coordinator or admission director of the university or your programs coordinator if it is a departmental scholarship and they will be glad to assist you we're going to look at some of the graduate programs offered by the university of Al alberta okay so university of alberta offers quite a number of um, graduate programs ranging from Occupational therapy, computing, community engagement, music, nursing, psychology, uh, renewable resources, philosophy, a whole lot. And so you can explore through their programs. So with their recognized English language countries and institutions, just like for the undergraduate level, they have countries in which English is the official language of instruction and so these countries need not to provide um, standardized tests and these are the countries okay so some of the countries are australia barbados belize bermuda canada um, jamaica Mora, nigeria south africa saint lucia scotland usa and wales okay among the ones listed here okay then the universities which they consider to meet their English language requirements in accordance with their policy 
students are also here at the undergraduate level. So Bangladesh, they have quite a number of universities here. Botswana, they have the University of Botswana. Bulgaria, they have American University in Bulgaria. Then Eteria, they have University of Asamara. Asmara. Ethiopia, they have universities. In Ghana, they have Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, University of Cape Coast, and University of Ghana. To be the only three universities they recognize as meeting their English requirements policy. Okay. Hong Kong, they also have quite a number of universities. India, they have a whole lot of universities. Kenya, they have some universities. Kuwait, Lebanon, Lesotho, Namibia, Pakistan, Papua New Guinea. Also, they have universities in the Rwanda, Tanzania, Turkey, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Okay. So in going through some of the graduate programs, I'm going to identify um, Santi Fandens available um in this university okay so we're going to look at educational policy studies and uh, at the master's doctoral and then the certificate level they have um their requirements which you should meet and then when it comes to the financial aspect it says the department offers graduate teaching assistantship and graduate research assistantship to some students based upon application and academic merit. The university also offers support in the form of scholarship and awards to some students based on application okay, or nomination. So your department can nominate you for an award or scholarship or you can apply for an award or scholarship. We're also going to look at educational psychology and they offer it so they offer this program at the master's and then doctoral level and moving to their finance which is our most interesting part or in most interested part it says that in addition to scholarship awarded by outside granting agencies such as the social sciences and humanities research council of canada the department also offers financial support to some students in the form of graduate research assistantship and graduate teaching assistantship assistantship applications are available to students admitted to the department okay and they also have their requirements and the contact of whoever you need to speak to with regards to um, requirements and then assistantship with this particular program lastly we are going to look at pharmacology okay so they have their requirements and then everything you need to know but what we are more interested in is the financial aspect and it says that the department of pharmacology offers financial support to students in the form of graduate research assistantships scholarships and award the departments may contribute to payment of tuition so from all the graduate programs we have looked at from this university you could tell clearly that the graduate um, school offers research assistant and then teaching assistant positions to international students they also have scholarship and um, awards for funding um, your studies in this university so you should not look any further if you're thinking of a general education in canada all the links to the various sites i opened will be in the description box let me know if you have any question regarding this video and i will attend to you if you haven't subscribed to this video please do me the honor by clicking on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell, and then like this video to recommend it to others. See you in my next video. It's a bye for now.